If you have the YouTube app on your phone, iOS or Android, what if I told you you might not have unlocked its full potential yet? What? And what if I told you there might be some incredibly useful features you're not using yet? Are you serious? So stick around because you might walk away from this video feeling like, Oh my God! Wow! And that you wish someone had shown you these 17 YouTube app tips and tricks sooner. So let's start with some simple settings that will take you 30 seconds to change that will instantly improve your video and audio quality. So whilst in the YouTube app, just tap on your little icon here in the bottom right corner. This brings you to the main page. If you hit the settings in the top right corner, scroll down on this page until you see video quality preferences. By default, all of these will be set to auto and you might assume that that's fine, right? Wrong. Well, the truth is sometimes unnecessarily, you'll experience heavy compression, not just to the video, but also to the audio. So here's how you can take control and turn your video and audio quality up to 11. Set these to high. And if you do have a YouTube premium account, you will have an extra option to set the audio quality to high as well. But you do need to be mindful of your mobile data limits, unless you like to live dangerously. And if you have a restricted amount of mobile data to use, well, then you might like tip number two. So if you are concerned about streaming the highest quality content all the time and wasting your data when you're not on Wi-Fi, here is the perfect solution that allows you to have the highest quality, but only when you say so. Once again, go to your little icon in the bottom right corner and then go to settings in the top right corner. Now within the settings menu, if you scroll all the way down to data saving this time, tap on that. And in this bottom section right here, the data monitoring and control, if you enable this, select quality for every video. Now, when you're on YouTube and you find a video that you want to watch, when you open it immediately, you get the option to choose how high or low you want the quality to be. If you don't care about the actual video quality itself, you could just go with data saver and the audio will sound fine. But if you want the highest quality, you can manually select it right here. And if later on down the line, you decide you don't really need this feature, you can always hit this little tick box here and that will get rid of it. You don't have to go back into the settings. But the great thing about this is now there's only one problem. The problem is choice. Am I right in saying that sometimes you might just want to jump straight to a specific part of a video or skip past the creator's integrated ad segment? And while yes, sometimes it can be easy, especially if the creator has added timestamps to their video, but sometimes it's not. So here is a little trick to help you skip to the part of the video that you're looking for very easily. See the little line that goes from left to right across here. This is your timeline. If you swipe up on this timeline, you can now scrub through the entire video. And this feature actually provides a frame by frame view of the video, showing you the precise moments down to the second. And this is such a great way to find exactly what you're looking for within a video with no messing around. And there are other ways to move back and forward very quickly. Those tips are coming up shortly. But for now, let's move on to tip number four. Okay, this next tip is something that you may have discovered on your own, but maybe you haven't. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Once again, let's go to the icon in the bottom right corner and the settings in the top right corner. This time we're going to scroll down to playback. Now you need to make sure that picture in picture is enabled here. And unfortunately, the functionality of this feature varies in different parts of the world. Some places get it for free and in others, like here in the UK, you have to pay for it. But let me show you this tip anyway. Make sure picture in picture is on. Now when you're playing a video and you navigate away from that video, it will float here and you can position it anywhere on the screen. And I'm sure you already know this. And if you want to, you can actually even pin it to the side of the screen. It will appear like this if you're still within the YouTube app. If you go out of the YouTube app, it will look slightly different. It will kind of just overlap just like this. So that's kind of nice. But did you know that if you double tap this little window, it makes it bigger. So if you're doing something in the background and you still want to watch that video whilst you're doing whatever it is you're doing, you can now have a bigger screen. And if you're on Android, there is another feature here with the floating window. If you tap it, you'll see the split screen icon, which is this little square with the line going through it. If you tap on this, this initiates a split screen. So now I can open another app on the bottom half of the screen and carry on watching 
the video on the top half. And if you are gonna be using the larger floating window, if you double tap it, you can shrink it back. And if you just want audio, when you tap the floating window, you'll see the headphone icon there. If you tap that, that plays the audio in the background without the video playing. And then depending on the phone, you'll be able to access the controls for the audio right here. Or if you're not on Samsung, just bring down your quick settings and you'll see the controls right there for the audio. So I'm gonna tell you something you already know. Time waits for no man or woman. And all we can really do is plan how we use it. So here's a little trick to help you understand and do that a little bit better. While there is a video playing within the YouTube app, you'll see the little time marker down here when you tap on the video. And what you can actually do with this is if you tap that, it will give you a countdown timer as opposed to a counting up timer. And this will give you a clearer sense of how much time is left in that particular video. And as you know, time is of the essence and nobody can give you a time back. Can you give me back my time? Can you? Oh, wait a minute. But at least with this tip, you'll be able to keep an eye on it. All right, now let's get to those quick tips to help you get to where you want to be within a video very, very quickly. So going back to the little timeline that runs across the bottom of a video, if you hold your finger down on that and drag downwards, you can now slide left to right anywhere on the screen to very, very quickly scrub through a video so you can get to where you need to be as quickly as possible. Okay, here's a slightly more clunky way of doing the same thing. When there's a video playing on your phone, if you double tap on the right side, it skips 10 seconds forward. If you double tap on the left side, it skips 10 frames back. And what you can also do here is continuously tap to keep adding 10 second intervals to the time. So if you miss something that someone said, you can literally just double tap to go back. Or if you want to skip past something, you can double tap to go forward. So this could definitely be handy from time to time. So let's expand on this just a little bit more. If we go back to your little U icon in the bottom right corner and then go to settings again within this menu, we're going to go to playback right here. And then we're going to go to this section, double tap to seek. If you tap on that, now you can actually change the time intervals that you want to skip forward or back. So you might prefer this on five seconds or if you watch really long videos and you like to jump minutes ahead, then you can adjust it all the way up to 60 seconds if you really want to. Now, I'm not saying you should absolutely change this, but you might want to depending on the types of content that you like to watch. Okay, here's another hidden setting that's not actually within the main YouTube settings. The only way you can access this one is whilst you have a video playing on screen, if you tap it, a little settings icon pops up here in the top right corner, tap on that very quickly before it disappears. And what I'll say about this one is, it's kind of an aesthetic tweak that you might love or you might hate. Either way, it's worth knowing how to get here and what it does. So once you're in this setting, go to the more section at the bottom. It might already be on already, but what we're looking at here is the ambient mode. I'm gonna switch it on. And what this essentially does is it kind of adds this light effect below the video that kind of fades into the rest of the app. You'll also notice it at the edges of the screen when in landscape mode. And it's this effect right here that's known as the ambient light mode. And you'll see as we go through, when there's different colors, the color underneath will change. So just remember how to get there, hit the settings on a video, go to more at the bottom, and then ambient mode is right there. If you don't like it, switch it off. If you do like the effect, leave it on. Now for this next tip, we're gonna stay within this same settings page. And below the ambient light feature, you've probably noticed it already, is the stable volume feature. If it's off, then you should definitely switch this on straight away, as it would essentially make the volume levels consistent across all the content you're binge watching on YouTube, even if the creator has messed it up a little bit during editing. And yes, that is something that I have done in the past. And I only found out because I got a bunch of angry comments <laughs> after I published the video. So yeah, it's fair to say it does work, but only to a certain extent. And it can also help keep your ears safe. You don't wanna whack your volume all the way up to the maximum, only to skip to the next video and then get blasted by some seriously loud audio. Okay, tip number 11, distractions are everywhere. And there is a time and place for everything, but isn't it annoying when your favorite creator drops a video and you're in a meeting or a lesson or busy doing something and you can't watch it and then you're like, So with that in mind, here's an interesting feature to switch on that can help you stay focused when you need to be. So once again, if you hit your little icon in the bottom right corner 
and go to settings top right corner this time we're going to notifications right here and at the top you will see the scheduled digest feature if you switch this on and then tap on it now you can specify the exact time that you're going to be free and relaxed and ready to watch a bunch of youtube videos and what this will essentially do is create a compilation of your favorite youtube content in these packaged updates so let's say you get home at six set it to six so try this one out and keep in mind that this doesn't override all of the usual youtube notifications if you do want to do that i suggest you spend a bit of time on this page and customize exactly what you do and don't want showing up in the form of a youtube notification so let's say you want to watch a youtube video whilst walking down the street but you're worried that this might happen If that's the case, I think you're going to appreciate this little feature. If you tap on the video and hit the settings again, this unlocks that little menu. And here's where you'll find the option to lock the screen. So with the screen locked, you don't have to worry about accidentally skipping forwards or pausing or exiting the video. And it does mean you'll be able to clutch your phone nice and tightly. So if someone does try to swipe it out of your hand whilst walking down the street, you can be like, South South what the hell did you do to him, man? I did nothing. The pavement was his enemy. If you're strong enough, of course. <laughs> and there are more practical use cases for this. For example, if it's raining, the raindrops won't register as screen touches. And also, if you have a phone with very thin bezels, you might want to use this feature from time to time. Okay, here's a nice little shortcut that you might already know. But let me show you just in case you don't. When you have a video playing on the screen, if you swipe up on that video, it automatically flips it into landscape mode. And when in landscape mode, if you swipe down, it flips it back to portrait mode. So up for landscape and down for portrait. Nice. Nice. Okay, here is another feature that you might not be aware of. Did you know that if you're watching a video on YouTube and then you see other videos beneath it that you might wanna watch, like this one, for example, what you can do is hit the three dots to the right-hand side of it and then hit play next in queue. And you can also do this whilst in picture in picture. So if you wanna fully navigate around YouTube and search for another video, you can do that and hit the three dots to the right side of it and add that to the queue. Now, what's interesting about the play next queue is it acts as a temporary playlist for your current viewing session so it's not going to save that permanently and once you back out of youtube and close it down that list then vanishes have you ever wanted to know what a video was about before watching it and yes you could read the description and get a good idea if the creator has been kind enough to fill that out properly even if they haven't there's a new feature that gives you even more insight into a video's content before you've fully gone in and watched it so let's say you got a video playing like this on screen if you hit the more right here that brings up the description now just below the description is where you'll find a fairly new feature and it's this it is a gemini generated summary of the content and sometimes not all the time it can provide more details and specifics about the content covered in the video and sometimes more than what's in the description box itself okay we're nearly there tip 16 this one's for anyone who wants to watch or listen to longer videos on youtube whilst off the grid with no wi-fi or data now this will depend on your account some countries i believe you have to have the premium subscription to do this and in others you might not have to so let's say you like to watch videos that are kind of like a conversation style or a podcast style video but the podcast isn't actually available for that type of content you might not actually care about the visuals that much and only really care about the audio but then let's say on the flip side you really care about the visuals maybe you're downloading a movie or a very crispy mkbhd video or something if either way that is the case here is a setting that you absolutely need to know once again go back into your little icon in the bottom right corner go to settings scroll down to background and downloads tap on this now right here download quality is where you can specify how high or how low you want the quality to be like i said before if all you care about is the audio you could get away with downloading the low 144p format of the video the audio might be a little bit compressed though so you might want to go one up and get 360p but test it out see which one sounds the best to you like i said before you want the crispiest video then you go with the maximum option here but what i recommend is that you set this to ask each time now you can decide case by case 
when it comes to downloading a video. All right, 17, let's stay within the settings menu. And this is a well-being tip. Doom scrolling is for real. <laughs> and I have fallen into that trap many times myself. <laughs> So if you want to do yourself a favor, you should take a look at some of these well hidden and probably underutilized YouTube tools. So staying within the settings menu, this time we're going to go to time management. Here you can set bedtime reminders and actually set the time that you go to bed so you can customize it for yourself. You can also set reminders to take a break from YouTube from time to time. And if shorts is your poison, well, then you can also limit those as well with this last setting here. Okay, so you made it to the end. This means you are likely now in the top five of people who know all of this stuff about the YouTube app. And as a reward for sticking around this long, here is a few quick fire bonus tips and tricks just for you guys. So once again, if we go back into the YouTube settings, and this time we're gonna to go to general, and at the top go to appearance. This is where you can decide what theme you want the YouTube app to use. By default, it will use your system default, but if you want it to be light mode, you can do that. And if you want it to be dark mode, which is what I prefer, you can do that. And the reason dark mode is better, in my opinion, is I think it looks better, but also it's more power efficient because the screen isn't burning off power in those whiter areas. Okay, here's bonus tip number two, staying within the same menu. If you want to shield yourself or someone else from more grown up stuff on YouTube, you can actually enable the restricted mode. And I'll be honest with you guys, if you enable this on someone's phone without them knowing, they probably won't figure it out and it will take them a long time to find where this setting is to switch it off. I'm not saying you should do that, but you could. Okay, once again, bonus tip number three, staying within the appearance menu. Here you can enable the stats for nerds. With this on, when you're watching a video, if you hit the video and then hit the settings in the top right corner, go to more at the bottom, you will see stats for nerds. When you open this up, you can unlock some hidden information about that specific video. So this can give you some behind the scenes insight into the actual video. And really the use case for this is if you wanna figure out if YouTube's playing up or your phone's playing up or your internet's playing up. Okay, in the words of DJ Khaled, here is another one. If we go back into YouTube settings by hitting your icon and going to settings in the top right corner, now scroll down to manage all history, what you'll probably realize is your auto delete history is off. If you want to clear your search history on YouTube automatically, periodically, you can do that here just by setting the amount of time. And then after that time, it will auto delete and start again fresh. So maybe 18 months could be good. I'll leave that up to you. All right, so I hope this video has helped you in some way. If it has, and you're not subscribed yet, well then, Make it so. And if you've just done that, I really appreciate it. I have loads of different tips and tricks, guys, on my channel for Samsung phones, for iPhones, Pixel phones, pretty much all the Android devices. And if you want to turn your Android device into a Nintendo games console, then you might want to check out this one. Anyway, appreciate you guys. See you in the next one. Don't be late.